the uh, chamber pressure by 50 bar or so. And then for refilling, where you just saw uh, the, two, the two shifts would actually mate at the rear section, um, they would use the same mating interface that they used to connect to the, the booster on liftoff. So we'd, we'd reuse that mating interface um, and then and, and reuse the propellant fill lines that are used when the booster is, uh, when the ship is on the booster. Um, and then to transfer propellant, it becomes very simple. Use control thrusters to accelerate in the direction um, that you want to empty. So, um, so you, if, if you accelerate in this direction, propellant, propellant goes that way, and you transfer the propellant very easily into the sh from, the, from the tanker to the ship. So going to rocket capability. Uh, this gives you sort of a rough sense of, of rocket capability, starting off at the low end with the Falcon 1 at a half ton, and then going up to BFR at 150. So it, I think it's important to note that BFR uh, has more capability than Saturn V, um, even with full reusability. But, but here's, the, here's the really, really important fundamental point. Let's look at the launch cost. The, the, order, the order reverses. Now, now, at first glance, this may seem ridiculous, but, but it's not. The, the same is true of aircraft. If you, want to, if you, if you bought, say, a, a, a small single-engine turboprop aircraft, that would be one and a half to two million 